Well, hi everyone, Pastor Al here. You know, with all the strange things going on these days, we're kind of missing other things in our calendars that we might otherwise pay attention to. And you may not have realized that as we came on to the beginning of June, we've just finished our first year as a congregation of reading through a thing that I have been very excited about myself, and that's the, uh, the New City Catechism. Um, it's 52 questions and answers to talk about the basic beliefs of Christianity. And I know some of you may have thought, okay, well, we're done. We did all 52 questions. and Well, we're not, because my guess is that not everybody learned it the first year. That includes me. And I really want this to be something we continue to do year after year after year. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I think one of the problems we've had as a church is for many generations, people were taught to read the Bible and taught the basics of Christian theology. Now, sometimes you could know a lot about the Bible and a whole lot about theology and not have any real love for God, and that wasn't the way it was supposed to be. But a couple of generations ago, we stopped asking people to really learn anything about theology. It used to be if you belonged to a Presbyterian church, you pretty much had to memorize the Westminster Shorter Catechism to become a member or certainly an elder. And then in this last generation, we've well stopped reading and studying the Bible, many of us, in, uh, in very positive ways. So now we have a whole bunch of Christians who may kind of love Jesus, but they don't know the Bible and they don't know anything about theology. And so we're really left standing on, on one leg um, without support in any other way. I hope this helps us to correct at least a part of that. I've discovered myself as I've read through the questions and answers. I'd read a question and I'd say, you know, I, I kind of know the answer to that. I, I think I could stumble through uh, a, a decent answer. But in, in the catechism, it gives a nice, clear, concise answer. Uh, the first year, um, I decided I would try to concentrate on memorizing the children's responses, not just the adults. And the second year, I may need to do the same thing again. But I've learned a lot uh, as I've gone through this. It's become very valuable to me. And I hope that it will be valuable and used by more and more people in the congregation. I've heard great feedback from people that do use it. I will say I think I made one mistake this last year. And that's relying on the, uh, the cell phone or computer app too much. Uh, you can download the New City Catechism on an Android or an Apple cell phone. And it costs, it's free, it works perfectly, it has the questions and the answers and the devotions and even songs for the kids to go on it. But I've discovered that there are a lot of people who just, you know, kind of don't do the smartphone thing all the time or they forget about it. Uh, we have books that we made available to all the families in our church. You know, the one book was just the basic book of questions and answers. In addition, there's a book of devotions that includes all the devotions uh, that are in there in, in addition to the questions and answers. And then we had a smaller book that we would give for the kids that just has the answers uh, for the children in, involved in, in that. Um, you can obviously buy any of these you want on Amazon, but I get that when I say that, you don't. So we're going to have some of these for sale in the church office. I get it's a little hard for some people to get into the church office, but you know, you buy them, you'll have them for as long as you're doing this. Uh, this book, with just the basic book of questions and answers, uh, is five dollars. We're able to get it at a discount by buying in quantity. The devotion book is eleven dollars, and of course, the book for children uh, we'll give to any child free. And again. If you're a young family who hasn't got these resources yet, we will give them to you as a gift from the church. All we ask is that you give it a try to use them. So I hope we will be excited about going into year two with the New City Catechism. I hope that as you go around the second time, you'll say, yeah, I remember that answer, and I'm going to remember it even better this year, and next year, and next year. And then most importantly, when someone comes to you and says, well, what is baptism, or... Well, why did Christ die on the cross or any number of the things which are covered in the catechism? Back in your mind, you're going to have a concise, precise answer that you can give to them. That hopefully will just be the beginning of a conversation. But whenever you want to have a conversation about something like this, you want to start right. 
and this helps you start right. So let's not just love God, let's know his word, and let's understand it systematically and put it all together uh, with the words uh, and the answers of this catechism. Got any questions? Email me, call me. I'd love to help you get started with this. God bless you, everyone. Bye.